Hey everyone, welcome back to Ben Mix Gaming. My name is Ben Mix and welcome to another video. This one is about, you know, some gaming news that I have uh, specifically. I don't I know people already probably read this, but I want to get it off my chest because I personally was hyped for this game. I personally didn't get it, but the game is Cyberpunk 2077. Before we get into Cyberpunk 2077, um, if you guys have to subscribe and you like this content, so hit the subscribe button and like this video if you like this video as well. Uh, I'll really appreciate it. Thank you guys. Let's get into the video. I was really excited to play this game. I know it was like a free roam type of game. I love those type of games. I love GTA. I love Red Dead Redemption. I love Far Cry. I just love things you can, you know, explore. And I was honestly excited for this game. Now, obviously, I wasn't going to get it right away because I knew there going to be some type of bugs because, to be honest, this game was rushed. And I know people can say, oh, well, they announced in 2012 or 2013, but a game like this needs time to be built and that's if you want a game that's going to be like gta or red dead redemption it's going to take a long time we know this because specifically with uh, uh rockstar they take a long time with their games specifically grand theft auto and red dead redemption we get one every six years even though gta 6 hasn't been announced yet but i'm not gonna get into that uh like red dead redemption we've only had two and the first one came out on the playstation 3 and the xbox 360 so now we're into the next gen console and we're still playing red dead redemption 2 which we start off with red dead, red, red, red dead redemption 1 sorry if i said 2 by accident earlier yes a game like this is gonna take a long time especially if they're gonna be pushing the boundaries with the graphics it's gonna take a long time and this is getting to what's happening now with cyberpunk 2077 2077 whatever you want to call it as many as you know i didn't make a video on this because i feel like it was already said so many times sony interactive or played the playstation store has pulled cyberpunk 2077 from its store as now offering refunds to the buyers of the game as we know right now sony is the only company that's done it so far microsoft is doing something they are putting a warning sign before you go ahead and purchase the game it is giving you a warning sign that is saying and i can read it right here right now i'm getting off a website and the website's called the verge the warning says users users may experience performance issues when playing the game on xbox one consoles until the game is updated now people need to realize this game is pushing boundaries with graphics if you're using old gen graphic old gen graphics cards compared to new gen and if you're not using a top of the line pc that you built or you bought it off you know a website you know it's not going to be the greatest it's going to have its issues obviously you know even if you have the top of the line graphics card you're still gonna run into issues it, it's it's a new game it's barely coming out and it did, and like i said earlier it is rushed i was excited i still hear good things about it besides the issues with it and besides the performance issues and stuff like that when you're using old gen consoles which obviously i won't play it on my playstation pro as it is the thing sounds like a jet engine when i'm playing call of duty or if i'm playing you know baseball or no man's sky it sounds like it's going mach one <laughs> obviously i won't play it on that because i know even if it's a pro it's not going to be to its potential so more likely i'll play it on my pc i would rather wait until like i always say with anything that's new especially with the playstation 5 and the xbox series x wait until there's a patch or an update to fix the game once there's an update and there's no more issues maybe just a little bit more issues i'll go ahead and play it you know at the same time this is for more people that haven't gone next gen consoles or are playing the old gen give it some time i know people are getting upset but give it some time you know the games like these aren't easy to make and obviously they're gonna take a while at the end of the day it will be fixed you know it's not an issue where it's not going to be fixed and they pulled the game yes sony pulled the game because they don't want more people getting mad about it they rather have the game out on their store until it's fixed i don't know too much about if you can still play even though asking for a refund if they already pulled it more than likely you can um but I do know that Microsoft is still selling it and they are only giving you a warning when you go in and purchase the game. But I'm still excited. I'm still going to buy it eventually when it's getting when it gets better. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to do videos on it. I might just play it personally. I don't know if you guys want me to play Cyberpunk 20, 2077. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to play it. To me, it's not a lot down because I can see the reason why they're going through the issues they're going through. Um, but, you know, everyone's different. So. I'm not going to say you should have, everyone has their own opinion, let's put it that way. <laughs> I'm not going to say anything more. But anyways, uh, that was my little thing about Cyberpunk 2077. 
for 2077. I know I haven't talked about it much, which I should have because I was really hyped for this game. But anyways, what can I do? But anyways, everyone, don't forget to like and subscribe and to click that post notification bell for future uploads. And I hope every single one of you has a wonderful, wonderful day. I love you all. Bye, everyone.